Hello, we have a beautiful cuckoo clock here. This is the uh, nicest carving I've ever seen, and I've been uh, selling cuckoos since 1979 out of our shop here in Solvang, California. Um, the height of it is 24 inches, and that's not including the measurement of the pendulum or the three weights. And um, the, the widest point is 18 and a quarter up here at the top. And um, this is hand carved, 100% hand carved out of lindenwood in the Black Forest. It's a BDS certified cuckoo. And um, it's got a real rich dark stain on the um, lindenwood. And um, the clock has a hand painted cuckoo bird here. And yeah, the hands are wood, the dial is wood. The um, case here has hand split shingles on the sides and on the roof it's to decorate it up. And um, you can see the two holes for the air to escape from the whistles for the bellows. When it cuckoos here, you'll probably see the bellow tops li lifting here. So, this is the sound of it. So this clock is very special in the carving that it, the lower tablet is all one piece of wood here. So this is all one piece. Usually it's common to get um, animals in that carved separately and glued on. In this case it, it is not. It's all one piece of wood. The uh, four feet are supporting the fox and the stump here and his bushy tail and the leaf coming down here. Um, so that's all one piece of wood on this lower carving. And the top crown here removes, of course, for packing. And this is one piece of wood too. They didn't glue on the fox, the um, bird, the crow separately, nor the leaves. It's all one piece of wood here. And um, it has auto silence feature on the movement. You can silence the clock from nine o'clock to eight thirty in the morning. And then we give it a four-year warranty through the store here. And it alternates the two melodies, Happy Wander and Edelweiss, every hour. See those bellow tops moving there? I've heard this uh, story. This is an old theme on this cuckoo clock. You know, they did these 120 years ago the um, fox in the vineyard and the fox in the grapes. It's from Aesop's Fable, and uh, the fox going through the vineyard there, and he sees the uh, the crow up there eating the grapes, the delicious grapes that are out of his reach, and he asks the crow to toss him down some, and the crow won't give them to him. It's like you're the fox, you're terrible, everybody's afraid of you in the forest, you eat them, and so the fox goes away, empty mouth, no, no grapes, and he says those must have been sour grapes anyway. Or I've also heard it as the fox asking the crow to toss them down, and no, I won't. Same old story, you know. And um, and the fox says, well, a beautiful bird like you, won't you just sing me a song so I can remember you by? A beautiful glossy bird like you with their feathers. So glossy. And uh, the crow goes, caw, caw, caw. And the grapes fall out of his mouth. And the fox imparts his wisdom there not to uh, get flattered <laughs> to the crow. So. It's a beautiful clock, and we give it a four-year warranty. We're located in the Central Coast, the grape-growing region of California here. And um, clocksclocks.com on the internet. And it's really a gorgeous clock, something that can be passed on. And, you know, this is just one carver. That's it. Um, it comes to a stop. It's the end of this particular clock. I've seen other fox and grapes, but they don't, they're not as impressive as this one. So thank you very much. Bye now.